Hello, Debbie here from uh, Barossa Valley Crafts. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a go at doing some em using embossing folders with ink. So um, I've got a Facebook group and I had a lot of people asking me about inking up the embossing folders. So we did a quick live in the group. So I thought I'd just go one step further and pop it onto YouTube for those that have never seen it or would like to try it or be reminded on the process. So I've used Distress Oxide inks because they are a water-based ink and they are easy to clean off the brayer and off the embossing folder. Some inks stain, so if you don't mind stained embossing folders, then you can use anything, I guess. But this is one that I've done. So this one I've used um, Candied Apple. This one I've used Wild Honey. This one was Lucky Clover. And these ones I've used Mermaid Lagoon and Villainous Potion. And they look really effective. So this particular one is a Nellie's Choice embossing folder. I got that from Craft Zone. Same with this one. This is also a Nellie's Choice and I got that from Craft Zone as well. This one, I couldn't tell you the brand of it. I've had it for a while. So, but you can do them in single colours or multiple colours. And I'll show you how I have done these. So to start off with, we'll do a single coloured one. Now with your embossing folders, you've got a side where the picture is indented and you've got a side where it's raised. We're going to be working with the indented side. So I'm going to turn that around and I'm just going to get some Villainous Potion and load it up onto the brayer. And then I'm just going to cover all of that with that. Try and get a fairly smooth, even coverage. You may have to go over it several times to do it. If you've got too much ink on there, you can wipe the excess off on your paper and then go over your folder again. So I think that's probably enough. Now, I clean them off as I go because I don't want the ink drying on the tools and it's easier to clean it off when it's wet. Plus, I don't want to contaminate it with other colour ink pads either. Okay, so there's that. So now we're going to pop it into the folder. Just make sure I've got it square on. Although you can trim them if it's not exactly level. Now, today I'm going to be using my Sizzix dye machine to do this. So now this particular folder is a thinner one. So I've got my base plate folder, a rubber mat to give it a bit more um, thickness and the cutting plate. So we'll just run that through the machine. And we'll go back and forth just to make sure it's got it all covered. See mine's well used and worn. It's getting pretty old. I also have an electric Couture Creations one, which I use most of the time. And there it is. How easy is that? It's so effective. So that's that one. But now I'll just wipe the ink off that while it's still wet. So now with the other one, so this particular one, again, you find your raised side and your indented side. And this is the indented side, so this is the side we want. 
So to start off with, I'm going to use Mermaid Lagoon. Now again, you don't have to use these folders. You can use any folders you like. So this is just to give an idea on what you can do. So I'm going to start right at the top, which is the sky area, and I'm just going to work my way down to the probably a bit over halfway. I'm going to take a bit off there and go over it again. So again, I'm just going to keep going over and over and over until I've got a, a reasonably nice smooth coverage. So can you see, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that's that one. And I'll just clean the brayer off. Uh, any sort of brayer is fine. This particular one's in, is, I think it's called Express It. But as long as it's like the hardish sort of rubber, which they call soft, but it doesn't feel soft. But yeah, any brayer will work. So now we'll go for the Villainous Potion. that onto the brayer and starting at the bottom and just working my way up so this particular one's got trees on it so I'm going to just above the top of the trees because I still want some of the sky to be seen any colors you like it doesn't have to be the ones that I'm using here just experiment and play is your best way that's how I do a lot of my things I just experiment yes I waste a lot but do you get a lot of good stuff as well okay so a lot of people because I'm using these wet ones look how pretty that is if you let that dry out and you can use that as a background on a card or something too okay so now we'll just pop the card in now, because this one is a 3D one, it's a little bit thicker. And because it's a thicker folder, we don't need the rubber mat for this one. So what I'm going to do is put that on there. And I'm just going to fold a bit of paper to give it a bit more thickness. But I don't need the thickness of the rubber mat. And we'll run that through. So you just need to find the sandwich that suits your machine to get the result you want. There we go, I'll just pop that out of the way. And there we have it. Look at that, isn't that effective? So I could probably have blended that a little bit better, but it's not too bad. It actually looks like a bit of a hill in the background. But look, that's it. So easy to do and a bit of fun. And uh, look, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give me the thumbs up and I'll add the link to the Facebook group in the description. So if you'd like to join, you're more than welcome. Thank you for joining me and we'll catch you soon. Bye.